Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to make a reborn baby crib. It can be used for reborn babies, silicone babies, just regular, any really baby doll, anything you want. So first you're going to be needing a large um, plastic like crate thing, like a Sterilite container like this one. Um, this is a 19 gallon, I would suggest the largest you can get. Um, so that's a, necess a necessity, and also another necessity is some sort of a cushion. I'm using a Tempur-Pedic pillow that I don't use anymore with um, a baby pillowcase over it. This is just a bunny rabbit pillowcase. You don't have to have a pillowcase on the pillow, but I just choose to because I just... It doesn't fit the pillow perfectly, but it fits it sort of. It's just a baby pillowcase, um, like a toddler one. So you're going to need that. You're also going to need any stuffed animals you want to put in your baby's crib and a bunch of blankets and like small pillows and stuff your baby can have in there. So first what you're going to do is you're going to take your cushion and lay it lightly in your container and make sure that your cushion fits snug inside of the container. Mine fits perfectly in this 19 gallon container. So and it has some rising space but that's okay. Um, so just like that. So then it should look like this. Um, just flat in there. Um, and then you can take your blankets if you like um, and wrap them in there. I'm going to take a large sheet, like a, a crib sheet that I got the crib, and I'm going to drape it over this. So I will show you what it looks like after I do that. So I just did that, and on the sides, it looks like that on the sides of the whole container. So you want to make it look neat, kind of, on the edges. So just turn your container and make sure if it has, like, a frilled edge on the sheet or blanket, kind of tuck it like that so that it looks kind of neat on the outside. Um, and so that way the pattern will actually show. And that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just tucking it under so that it looks neat and nice like that on the sides so then on the sides it'll look nice and on the top there'll be just a white sheet over the cushion so after that you're going to want to put your main sheet which is going to be the sheet that your baby is going to sleep probably under um, this sheet is going to be larger this is another crib sheet and it just has this little pattern in the end of it so you're going to fold that up and kind of put that in there to where you leave some space so your baby can fit under it. Okay, so as you can tell, it looks similar, except for I could actually pull this up and my baby goes under here. So that is good. And on the sides, it just looks like that. So you can see the little layer right there. That's the sheet you'll tuck your baby under. After you have that, all your main sheets are done. So you can leave your crib like this if you want. But I suggest adding a few things to make it better. I'm going to add my baby's monkey blanket. Um, I'm going to put that over this sheet to make it look cute. And I'm also going to be adding this on the end of the bed. And um, probably this too. And of course I'll add this pillow right here where the baby's head would be. Okay guys, so here's my completed doll crib and now it's time to go get my baby and put her in there. So here's my reborn Mia, and I'm going to be putting Mia inside this crib. And she's still in her sleeper because she's just barely waking up, even though it's like the afternoon already. Well, okay guys, so that concludes the tutorial. I hope you guys try this and let me know what you think of it. Bye!